everyone, so we're on to lesson 8 today, drawing the chameleon, and we are learning to use a grid system to create an accurate drawing. So number 1, I'd like you to sketch the chameleon into the empty grid on page 17 lightly with a pencil. I'd like you to cross out number 2 because we are not doing that. And number 3, you're going to add detail using a range of marks. So you're going to draw your chameleon into this box here on page 17. Notice how the grid is exactly the same on page 16 and 17. So what you need to do is use each square um, like a map to draw it accurately. So you'd start with box A1 and you would sketch that with a sharp pencil into box A1 on page 17. Now if this all seems very complicated, then rip up a piece of paper and use the straight edges to isolate one section and then you can simply work square by square. So that will be drawn into A1 on page 17. So what I like to do is I like to find the halfway point of that box and then the quarter point. Halfway, so I've split that edge into four. I then like to find the halfway point the other way. Now this is quite complicated, you might just want to go for it and not worry about, worry about measuring too much. I am a little bit of a perfectionist. And then I work out that that goes about there. I'm also going to add in the detail. So A1's done, so shifting it over to B1 now. And I'm going to sketch that into B1 on page 17. Make sure your lines are very, very light because it will go wrong. And I am going to go over mine with a biro once I am finished. So just finding my halfway points again. More than anything, doing something like this takes great patience. It doesn't matter if you don't finish it this week, you can finish it next week. But take your time, do it square by square, and try your hardest to get it really, really accurate. So I've nearly finished my top row. And then I realised that the line between 2 and 3 on page 16 was missing. So you need to measure 4.5 centimetres. between box one and bit box two and draw in so that's how I measure so find four and a half centimeters and make a little mark do the same on the other side and then draw a line across because naughty Miss Beer missed that out or it didn't print so I thought you'd love to have a look at the face this is a very early on sketch and you can see how messy it is and that's because it's gone wrong so many times and that's why your lines need to be light so now I'm going to refine it I'm going to rub some of those lines out and I'm going to choose my favorite line and make it more accurate drawings go wrong a lot it's completely normal so I've improved the face and now I'm on to my mark making so I'm using a simple biro and I'm just exploring my mark making technique at the top of the page. It might be worth you flipping back to our first lesson where you completed the tiger to get an idea of what marks that you can create and what might work when you're adding your marks to your chameleon. So once you've finished, just leave it for a couple of minutes so the ink dries and then rub out your pencil lines. That's it guys, hope you've enjoyed, you've been learning how to use a grid system. Please finish this next week and if you manage that you can complete page 14, 15 or you can do your own artwork based on a rainforest theme on page 24.